Hey, what's up, Mr. Love here. Um, today we're going to look at a uh, problem that involves a, a block of wood on a surface. Um, so this is going to use Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. Also, it deals a little bit with friction. So the, uh, the problem reads, a 70 kilogram block of wood is at rest on a frictionless surface, at least initially. If you apply a 4 Newton force to the right, what will its acceleration be? Um, so for part A, what we're going to do is um, go ahead and out as a free body diagram. We have a surface and a block of wood on that surface. Um, this is a seven kilogram block. There's a force that's being applied to it and it goes to the right and that force is four newtons. So in the, uh, in the first part the equation that we're using is F net is equal to the mass times the acceleration. We know that the net force on this block is 4. There's no friction, so there's no other forces. So 4 newtons is equal to the mass, which is 7 kilograms, times acceleration, which is the unknown. And acceleration works out to be 0 0.57 meters per second squared, um, which is approximately equal to 0 0.6 six meters per second squared when we're looking at significant figures. Because there's only one significant figure. Um, in the second part of the problem, part B, it says that there is a, uh, the same block, but now the, uh, the surface and the block have a coefficient of friction of 0.3. Um, and the question is how much force is required to keep that block in motion. So um, we can draw another free body diagram. Uh, I'm going to label this time if we have a flat surface and we have a block on that surface. Um, this time though, there's actually two forces present. Okay, there's the force that's pulling it to the right and there's the force of friction which acts in the opposite direction of motion. FP will label that. Um, and we're given that mu is equal to 0 0.3. Uh, we also know that the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. Um, forces that we didn't add to our free body diagram, which sort of become important, are now the, the weight force, which is mass times gravity, and the normal force. Okay, because this object isn't accelerating um, up or down in the y direction, okay, so this is the x direction, this is the y direction, because it's not accelerating in the y direction, we know that the sum of all forces, or the sum of the force in the y direction is equal to zero, which is equal to the up forces, which is the normal force, minus the down forces. Okay, so that gives us, let me just rearrange that a bit, F is equal to mg, or Fn is equal to mg, so Fn is equal to seven kilograms, squared. Um, Fn is equal to 68.6 newtons. Okay, so that's the normal force that the surface is pushing up on that uh, block of wood with. Um, and then we can take that number and plug it into the friction equation. Ff equals mu Fn as, as above. So the force of friction is equal to 0 0.30 times the normal force, which we just figured out, 68.6. Okay, and we get a force of friction equal to 20.5 newtons, or again, keeping track of significant figures, which the 
lowest one is 0.3, so in reality, actually, it should only be about 20, uh, but we'll go ahead and call that 21, 21 newtons. So that means that if you have a force of friction pulling back, 21 newtons, in order to keep this block in constant motion, uh, the forces need to be balanced in that x direction, so we need a pushing force or a pulling force of exactly 21 newtons to keep this block going in constant motion. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.